G'day, welcome to Accelerate Maths. Did you know that this astronaut's mass is 70 kilograms, but her weight on Earth is 686 newtons? What does this mean? Well, mass is the amount of matter in an object, and that's the same wherever you are in the universe. Mass is measured in kilograms. Weight is the force of gravity on an object. And it's different at different places in the universe, depending on the gravity of each planet or moon. Right now, Earth's gravity is pulling you down onto your seat. Weight is measured in newtons, after the famous scientist. There's a rule to calculate weight. Weight equals the mass multiplied by the gravitational acceleration of the planet or moon. First, let's understand the gravitational acceleration of our own planet Earth. On Earth, a person falling from space, or even out of a tree, falls towards the surface of the Earth with an acceleration of 9.8 metres per second squared. That means that for every second she falls, her speed will increase by 9.8 metres per second every second. In the first second that she falls, her speed will be 9.8 metres per second. That's about 35 kilometres per hour, the speed inside a school zone. In the second second of her fall, her speed is 2 times 9.8, so her speed is 19.6 metres per second. That's about 71 kilometres per hour, a bit faster than the speed in a city street. In the third second of falling, her speed is 3 times 9.8, so her speed is 29.4 metres per second. That's about 106 kilometres per hour, the speed on a highway. In the 12th second of her fall, her speed is 12 times 9.8 or 118 metres per second. That's an amazing 423 kilometres per hour, the same as the world's fastest production car. And she does this just by falling. Now let's work out her weight on Earth. We'll use the rule. The weight on Earth equals the mass in kilograms multiplied by Earth's gravitational acceleration of 9.8 metres per second squared. That's her mass of 70 kilograms multiplied by 9.8, which is 686 newtons. The Moon is much smaller than the Earth, so its gravitational acceleration is only 1.6 metres per second squared. Her weight on the Moon equals her mass of 70 kilograms multiplied by the Moon's gravitational acceleration of 1.6. Her weight is only 112 newtons. Let's put that in perspective. This astronaut weighs the same as a one-year-old child on Earth. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Its gravitational acceleration is 24.8 metres per second squared. If this astronaut could be weighed on Jupiter, her weight would be equal to her mass of 70 kilograms multiplied by Jupiter's gravitational acceleration of 24.8 and her weight would be a huge 1,736 newtons. This astronaut weighs the same as two baby elephants on Earth. She probably couldn't even walk because of Jupiter's huge gravity. Thank you for watching.